Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman and our topic for today is Ordinary Interest and Exact Interest for Business Mathematics. When time is expressed in days, interest could either be ordinary interest or exact interest. For ordinary interest, one year is taken as 360 days, approximate days in year. Hence, so we have the formula, ordinary interest I sub O is equal to principal times rate times D over 360, where D is actually the number of days. For the exact interest, I sub E is equal to principal times rate times the number of days out of 365. Let's recall that P is the principal while R is the rate, I is the interest, and D is equal to days. Let's consider problem number one. Compute for the ordinary interest and exact interest on 1,000 pesos at 8% for 90 days. First, let's identify the given. So the principal is 1,000 pesos, the rate is equal to 8%, and time is equal to 90 days. Since we are looking for the ordinary interest, so take note that we will use the formula, I sub O is equal to principal times rate times D, or days, all over 360. Substitute the value. So we have 1,000 times 8% times 90, all over 360. So the answer here is 20 pesos. So using our calculator. So letter B, let's find the exact interest. So I sub E is equal to principal times rate times D all over 365. Now that we know the values of principal rate and the days, so we will substitute that as 1000 times 8% times 90 all over 365. Again, using our calculator, the value is equal to 19.73. Take note that the ordinary interest is higher than exact interest because 20 pesos is greater than 19.73. Let's consider our example number 2. Compute for the ordinary interest and exact interest on 2,000 pesos at 1% per month for 60 days. So let's identify the given. So the given are the following. Principal is equal to 2,000, the rate is 1% per month, and the time is equal to 60 days. So take note that we will solve this one for the rate is equal to 1% per month. So it means that we will compute this for a year. And in a year, there are 12 months. So to compute for our ordinary interest, so I sub O is equal to principal times rate times D all over 360. So we have I sub O is equal to 2,000 times 1% per month because there are 12 months in a year. So we will write here times 60 all over 360. So using our calculator, so the answer is 40 pesos. On the other hand, so the exact interest is equal to I sub E is equal to principal times rate times D all over 365. So again, we have 2,000 times 1% per month times 12 months times 60 all over 365. So the answer is equal to 39.46. Take note that the ordinary interest is higher than exact interest. So that ends our discussion on ordinary interest and exact interest. Again, this is Teacher Onan de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.